Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about tantric sex and vital sex, and the topic for this video is 20 qualities you want in your sex life. I say 20, it could be 50, it could be 5, it could be 2 or 3. The idea is that you can consciously design your sexual landscape and bring in qualities that are going to be massively powerful and exciting for you to have. So, this is the thing to understand. It is that you are the designer of your life. Of course you get help. Of course angelic forces, powers, the invisible in, is investing itself in you, the uh, elemental force around you, other people use you, help you with uh, this co-creation. But the point is that you are the center of all that. You are the center of this galaxy, which is you. And uh, you have a massive impact on what you create in life. You have the power to generate results, states of mind and states of being that are the results of your intentions. So I would like you to take a white page right now and write down 20 qualities that you would like to manifest in your sex life. If you could design it, consciously design your sex life, what are the qualities that you want to have, that you want to manifest? If you don't know where you are going, you will end up somewhere else. It's a very simple statement that means a lot. It means that when you start walking, if you know what direction you want to sustain, what's your intention, then you will start gathering energies, uh, circumstances, people around you that are aligned with that vision. So suppose that you write down more joy, pleasure, playfulness. That's it. This is what you are going to attract. And you can repeat the intention multiple times. It's not just a one-time thing. You can consciously design by invoke, select, you know, pictures, paintings, or things that you put on the wall, mantras, energies, these videos that you are watching right now. You attract uh, the sex life that you, that you design according to your, your exact plan. So having a lot more understanding about who you are as a sexual being, what are the emotions associated with your sexual energy? All these questions and all these qualities that you can bring are all happening because you set up an intention. So if you don't set up intentions, what will come to you is probably just a set of circumstances of something that is not really conscious or aware. The moment you bring your awareness, it can radically shift the results as well. You know, suppose that you are trapped in a relationship which is a little bit dull, boring, not too interesting when it comes to sex, and you start invoking the idea of, I want more pleasure, I want more sexual satisfaction in my life, and you start designing consciously your sexual actions in alignment with that intention, of course, after a while, you are going to start attracting and generating more of that. So in my experience, it takes maybe one to three months to start generating and activating uh, new core mindsets. The reason why it doesn't happen very often instantly is because um, of uh, past conditioning. It means that you are naturally already expressing certain mindsets. And you might have negative beliefs concerning sex. You might have frames that are, uh, that are limiting uh, the pleasure inside of you. You might feel some shame or some guilt. You might have gone through some traumas, have been abused, and this leaves an energetic blueprint. Maybe when somebody touches you, you don't feel that that sensual connection and it takes a little bit of practice to rebuild that connection 
or your genitals are not too sensitive and you need to bring in a sense of awareness to them so you have all these possible qualities that you can bring in and uh, and develop and the core idea is this one take responsibility for what comes your way realize that you are the designer of your life and you are the designer of your sex life you can consciously attract the qualities that you want in my experience um, I send intentions which are relatively vague and general rather than making it too specific like I want to have sex today between three o'clock and four <laughs> you know I'll be too specific with a woman who will be blonde um, 32 years old no it's like no <laughs> You know this would be too specific it doesn't give the spirit enough range of uh, freedom to play with so instead of making it that specific you can keep the space a little bit more open and set up intentions in terms of qualities why because there is there are forces which are watching over you and they know what is the best for you as well so it is a collaboration with the angelic powers and the angelic force which are watching over you that are directing and inspiring your life so for instance if you say that you would like to live um, for instance in Costa Rica and you end up in Japan instead there might be a reason why you're in, in Japan instead or why you might be in Australia instead it's not your head deciding it there is a flow of intuitive inspiration that is directing you to be there and it's the same when it comes to sex life it's the same when it comes to sexual choices if you set up something which is too precise you know I want a relationship with a blonde woman that size you know it's not <laughs> you have to keep it open because somewhere in the flow of the spirit um, the energies will bring to you the qualities as well or the circumstances that are a good match for you at that moment that are going to be part of your growth process and your learning experience your expansion of consciousness that makes sense right so when you consciously work with the force in invisible and you give them enough range of freedom to be able to play and bring to you um, the qualities within a certain form that is the result of um, of that freedom that's powerful and perfect right so take this white page and write down some of the qualities you know 20 qualities or more that you would like to have in your sex life it's a powerful practice i'll see you soon